Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. Yeah! How you get wind of this old plan? We only been down here all of five minutes. While wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like... You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Boys, get rid of these sons of bitches! You 
Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Wait a minute. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Huh? Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! You don't know what you got yourself into. You ain't much, man! How about we 
stop robbing Cornwall for a while. I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall, all right? We're not getting out of here alive. They're coming in from the front. Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially in Shit! Fire! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. I've got this, Uncle. Get the hell off me! Arthur! Well, boy, you having fun yet? Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as Guess we should go give them a hand. Do with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our back. It was an honest mistake. I'll leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move.
Easy. Oi!
Up there, Arthur. Hey, hey, ha! what is it? I'm too tired for this. Good morning, Arthur. Mr. Morgan? Good. Heard you said something to Grimshaw about a fight. Yes, the one in Valentine. Well, give me the information. My table no. awaits your offerings, Mr. I'll Morgan. This. Ah, here you want in? Well, you? <laughs> me. Fine. I but can rob a bank sure just as well as any you. Sure, maybe. Well, let me have a thing. I've been working on this a long time. I'm not getting cut out. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not Thank your you, pocket. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. 
That'll make everyone happy, I'm sure of it. I won't be able to make that for you without more materials. That makes you feel a bit more like home. Hi there, Arthur. Time to go, boy. Did you become a sheriff, Uncle Arthur? Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Yeah. that work yeah well we don't got time to celebrate come on so what's your plan anyway plan plan not to get caught it ain't my Shut problem up, okay fella Should be here soon. Well, I must get. Don't it. rush me. I'll get to you. So long. Yes. Hello yes. There. Hello. How are things? Too sober to smile. Good lord! It can't be worth it. Are you well? Fine and dandy. That's you Excellent. turned over a new leaf. I'm sure. Thanks, partner. Calling all passengers for the next train. It's due soon. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. 
house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Hey, mister, will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them... Them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Line up, bro. You get your paper. <laughs> No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. Don't look quite right. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn bird. Welcome back. What can I offer you? So apparently, Archibald McGregor put down another moonshine steal the Braithwaite's had out of the swamps. They're shameless, that family. I'll be here. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Here. I'm telling you the truth. He's got me chained up. Then please, he's sick in the head. You gotta get me out of here, please. What are you doing? Please, you gotta get me out of here. I 
ever gonna get the hang of this? I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Oh, you, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. No, he can't say I only do it for chain. his own good. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sick sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you? You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs>
enough food for anyone. Place going plumb crazy. <laughs> Hey, y'all. Read all about it. You better have left your troublemaking ways behind you. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Mister? Let's go, boy. Welcome back, friend. Got anything there, good yeah. for me by any chance? Sure, let me see. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Sure, I'll take it. Don't you tell no one, you hear? Don't look quite right. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh. Well, uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right. What we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. I said stay close. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off? And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. 
Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Fight. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past <gasps> prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, <gasps> breathing Can... woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folks? Married? Don't be goopy. I don't know what to say to you. <sighs> Get out of here, kids! Move! Come on! I knew we shouldn't have been here! You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Church grounds are closed. Okay. It's, uh, good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. Churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you. Uh, let's go. Uh, you gonna get it. Ah, uh, 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 shit. Hope this hole's dug. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What'd you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. <sighs> Can't believe it's come to this. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. What? 
This here the gray plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. What are you waiting for? The sheriff? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Come on, pal. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. OK. 
It's a free country, ain't it? I can stay right here. Shit! This is a mistake you won't live to regret. Ain't gonna live to tell this tale. <laughs> friend. 